a town in ruins. Volleys of gunfire becoming closer to the center of Bakhmut. Fighters from Russia's Wagner group say they have stepped up their attacks from the north and the south of the town. A win here is more symbolic than strategic for Russian forces who have been fighting for months. Assault units of Wagner completely captured the village of Yahidna in the north of Bakhmut. As Russian forces take more positions and slowly move deeper into eastern Ukraine, Western powers have imposed more sanctions. In a move to zero in on those who've helped Russia to withstand sanctions, the European Union has brought in its 10th round of sanctions, which target 87 individuals and 34 commercial and legal entities. That's in addition to the latest US export restrictions and sanctions. For Russia, the conflict has become an existential issue. When all leading NATO countries have declared their aim to inflict a strategic defeat on us, how can we not consider their nuclear capabilities under these circumstances? They have one goal, to divide the former Soviet Union and the Russian Federation, and then maybe they will accept us into the so-called family of civilized nations, but only separately, piece by piece. Previous rounds of sanctions against Moscow have not achieved the desired results as Russia has been able to find new allies and markets. And as the rhetoric from both sides of the conflict gets more intense, peace becomes an ever-distant possibility. Sama Bin Javed Al Jazeera, Moscow.